to our Karen Ayesod friends, supporters, and leaders around the world, and our friends of Israel across the globe, Stephen Lowy and I wanted to send you this additional update as so much has transpired in the last 24 hours since the last one. As of Wednesday morning, May 12th, Israel time, the escalation has intensified significantly. We're now two and a half days into this operation, Guardian of the Walls, Shomer HaChomot. Currently, and very sadly, there are five dead from the deadly terror rockets. Three women were killed yesterday, two in Ashkelon earlier in the day, and one in Cholon. And then early this morning, two Arab Israeli citizens in Lod, a man and his teenage daughter were tragically killed by rocket fire as well. In addition, there are well over 100 wounded and many that are still being treated in the hospitals. It's estimated that approximately 850 rockets have been fired towards Israel from Gaza by Hamas and Islamic Jihad in the past couple of days since the recent escalation started Monday evening Israel time. On Tuesday evening here, barrages of rockets were fired towards southern and now central Israel as far north as Netanya. Explosions were heard as iron domes were triggered to intercept the rockets that were launched. And of course, not all of the rockets were able to be intercepted by the iron dome systems. Ben Gurion Airport was shut down during the Tuesday evening barrage towards central Israel, but is now open and operating again. Throughout Tuesday night, additional barrages of hundreds of rockets renewed starting at about 3 a.m. Israel time, terrorizing millions of Israeli citizens in their homes all over the south, including now Beersheba and all the way up to central Israel. Today, Wednesday, school is canceled from the Jewish communities near Gaza all the way up to Netanya. This means that about 1 million Israeli school children will not go to school physically today. There's also been severe violence and disturbances inside Israel, in Lod, Akko, Jerusalem, and other mixed Jewish, Arab, Israeli towns. Attacks and lynch attempts against Jewish residents and setting Jewish owned cars on fire. A special state of emergency has been declared in Lod where special military and police forces are being brought in to try and restore order. The defense minister in Israel has approved calling up 5,000 reserve soldiers. And the IDF chief of staff has reported that well over 500 Hamas and Islamic Jihad targets have been attacked and has said that Israel will continue to attack with great force and exact a heavy price for the terror rockets being launched against Israel and its innocent citizens. And Israel has said that it's determined to restore quiet and security to its citizens. Statements have also been made saying that the terror organizations in Gaza will pay a heavier price than they have until now, and that Israel is ready to widen this operation as necessary. Friends, for all of you, our Karen Ayesod friends and leaders and supporters around the world, I know how concerned you are, and your solidarity and standing with us means so much. Karen Ayesod is kicking off a solidarity campaign for the people of Israel. Karen Isod is asking you to step up at this most difficult time and to stand with the people of Israel to assist with all of the humanitarian needs that are so acute right now. And with the help of our campaigns around the world, we're working to raise the resources necessary to help with the complicated tasks and challenges. Many requests are coming from mayors and heads of municipalities, and members of Knesset asking for our help. This help will relate to all kinds of issues relating to this conflict, whether it's on the home front, helping with safe spaces and shelters, and of course, helping those that have been physically harmed and injured, as well as trauma and PTSD. I wanna ask all of you to please contact your local Karen Ayesod representatives, shlichim, leadership, so that you can get more information and details about how you can help. I can't tell you how critical it is that this Karen Ayesod solidarity campaign for the people of Israel is successful and how needed it is at this time. And on behalf of all of the people of Israel, I thank you all for your solidarity, for your support, and for always being there for the people of Israel. I'll continue to keep you updated as much as possible. So together, we hope and pray for quiet and safety and security for the citizens of Israel. Thank you. Toda Rabbah.